Well, new tonight, a victim of a serial peeper in Issaquah that we first told you about this week has now come forward. She's sharing her story because she fears the suspect is getting bolder. Fox 13's Riza Mendez joining us from Issaquah with more. Riza. This sounds like the same man who police believe has shown up outside for at least 10 homes, touching himself sexually in many of those cases. But those incidents outside backyards and wooded areas, no one wanted to go on record with investigators. This time, the victim is talking and she says it happened near a parking lot in broad daylight. He stood back up and came to the edge looking at me, um, playing with himself. Kara is a barista at I Amazonia know, Cafe, a drive through so coffee spa on Northwest Sammamish Road. The morning it happened, February 23rd, she was working alone. She says he matched the description police gave out in connection with the earlier peeping incidents. A middle-aged man with medium skin tone wearing a tan or dark jacket and riding a bike. She called 911, the suspect quickly leaving as officers arrived. It's definitely made me more afraid every day I come to work. But while she filed a report, Issaquah police say what happened can be considered a crime. The man was in a public space and only had his hands down his pants, rather than exposing himself to her. But Kara worries the longer the man is allowed to continue his behavior, he will end up doing something worse. It's a disease when someone has that. It's a form of voyeurism. It's a form of um, a mental health issue, and he needs help, you know, before he does hurt someone. Also of concern to Kara, the forested areas that make Issaquah so inviting can make the perfect place to surprise someone. This trail goes all the way to the state park, goes all the way into Issaquah. You know, there's a lot of like green belt and he could be hiding. And so I just thought it was important for people to be aware, especially if they're on the trail, that he's not caught. He's out in the open. It looks like the alleged peeper left his bike behind, which could make him less mobile. Investigators are still building their case against him. If you have any information or home security video, contact Issaquah Police. Reporting in Issaquah, Brisa Mendez, Fox 13 News.